as uh, you can see there, Dover Harbour uh, in the background with uh, Jonathan now well on his way. Uh, just to remind you, though, he is at the mercy of uh, those winds as he uh, heads across the open water, uh, aiming for Calais, but it could be further up the Belgian coast at uh, Ostend, maybe, that he lands. Uh, took off from uh, Kent Gliding Club near Ashford around uh, 5 this morning and uh, told us part of the adventure is you don't know when you need to land. He hopes it won't be the sea because he's uh, not got an immersion suit on because it would add weight to uh, his comfy chair there. And the key to this is that he is strung under helium balloons. First time it's been done. And uh, the American, who is uh, what, 37 years old, I think, is uh, attempting to be the first man, or first person indeed, to uh, do this, uh, saying that uh, he has attempted some trips in the US before, but the channel has held, well, he says, an iconic ribbon of water that is calling. That's how I described it. And uh, back in March, came to England and France to uh, plan his trip. Uh, has made a number of trips, indeed, using this cluster, but uh, he's now really putting it to the test. That chair, packed with uh, position-finding communications equipment, so it's fairly sophisticated, but as we were saying, he really has to wait to see which way the wind takes him. But flying high at the moment, uh, hoping to cruise at a height of about 7,000 feet where he should pick up the, uh, the right sort of wind direction.